guys, welcome back. So, following my last vlog, which was all about my new 48 that I've just had, um, I'm now going into the details of looking at the tuning aspect of it. Um, so what I thought I'd do today is just show you how I'm operating this. Um, at the moment, it's plugged in and ready to go to its standard. Uh, but what I want to do is get into the auto-tune and therefore let um, the ECU start to learn about the, the bike itself and there from that auto tune it to the setting. So without further ado, what I'd like to show you first, hopefully, if it uh, zooms in all right, is basically my iPhone. So down here I've got the Fuel Pack FP3 app and this is where if I click on it, not swipe it, if I click on it, this is basically where I control all the settings um, for my bike so I can auto-tune um, or even if I have a different exhaust system I can change it on here then. So yeah, it's really good uh, but as I said, let's get back on the bike and let's see how it works. <laughs> To life become as a shock. Come as a shock. Come as a shock. Come as a shock. Come as a shock. Cruise in the corridor, gotta choose the right door. Am I on the right floor? Do I know what it's for? Gotta get ahead if I wanna stay alive. I won't go near a ring just to take a dive. I wanna be chilling, happy. I'm warm, not standing in a queue, filling out forms. They're coming to the time, I'm so gonna stop. Tune into life become as a shark. So, um, what we'll do um, is turn the bike on first, because uh, when you turn the bike on, it activates the Bluetooth um, on the fuel pack. Then all I'm going to press then is pairing Bluetooth, and then what should happen is that it gives me, as you can see, some really nice clear options on how to activate um, the the Bluetooth, so how to get it connected. So what I need to do now is go to settings. I'm hoping you guys can actually see this. Um, so go to sit settings on your iPhone or other Android device to Bluetooth. Then what you'll then see is a VIN number. Now that is yours, that is specific to your fuel pack. So if you click on that. Um, now I'm connected, I'm then gonna switch to, so I've got these different options here. So I'm gonna go to auto tune. So what happens is now the bike is looking at my, um, my ECU um, and what it'll then do is that you can see some graphs here. So on the left hand side you've got um, the RPM and then going across then you have got the TPS then. So as I'm moving along on the bike this will actually learn how my bike is performing. And then based upon that it'll then develop cells in this lovely graph. And then the cells that I believe are in yellow are the new cells that it's learnt. Once I then stop the bike, I can then auto-tune it. So it'll learn that cell and therefore perform a lot better. So I'm now going to go to auto-tune as you can see. I'm going to keep this in my pocket. I'm not going to have it on my bike because that's too much of a distraction for me. And then what I'll do in about 10 minutes or 15 minutes of riding, I'll stop, pull over and show you what this has actually learned. All right, see you soon. Well, not a recap, just a new point. Um, when you buy the FP3 pack, um, it'll already come with settings um, already installed. So, for example, I've got uh, the, the 48200 2016 model uh, with grenades um, on Phantom Heights and Heavy Breather. Um, the FP3 pack, or the app, sorry, will already have that data installed. So, it's literally okay. So, if you can plug the FP3 pack in, put those settings on your app and then off you go. It is literally as simple as that. However, what I'm doing now 
is I've got those options already installed but I'm going through the auto-tune feature so it is looking deeper um, into the brains of my bike so it's just seeing where I'm losing power and where it can get a lot smarter uh, with fuel economy, power, blah 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 um, as you guys know I'm not a technical whiz and I don't claim to be but what I do understand is um, this feature will get the bike a lot sweeter that even rhymed right so I'll see you guys in a bit so what I've noticed uh, with my bike especially when I did her um, when I took her out for a, oh, a maiden voyage um, and we did over 130 miles um, there was a lot of I was losing some compression so some power right at the start of the rev so I'd pull back on the throttle and it would slightly go blah, dip out of me <coughs> and then it would kick back in so even though um, the features for FP3 so them or the, the, um, Harley plugging it in to the 1200 the grenades and blah 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 there's still an element of where auto tune will help even further so <coughs> that's what I'm hoping to achieve today so I'm coming up to a petrol station relatively soon um, and I'm going to see how much uh, the auto tune feature has has actually learnt so see you in a bit guys so hopefully you can see this guys I have literally pulled over now and I'm just looking at how much uh, information the cells have have learned so what you can see and hopefully you can see it is that you've got um, sort of dark yellow and then bright green so the bright green indicates um, the new cells um, that it's learned so I've got two there so I've literally just been riding probably about I'd say five minutes maximum and already it's learning uh, more about the, um, how to fine tune this bike so what I'm now going to do is press apply learned values and then press apply again don't press finish because we're continuing to uh, make some adjustments okay so as you can see it's now flashing the map and what it'll then ask me to do is turn the bike off leave it off for 30 seconds and turn it back on as you can see here and then that information that the bike has now learnt is transferred so I'm going to turn the bike off and then I'll turn the bike back on there you go and it's now and it you know, that does take a few moments but it now says that it's transferred so I'll press done and there we go we're back to it again so um, I'm going to keep my auto tune on so I'm just going to check that it's still on, which it is. Go back. And then what I'll then do is take it further for about another 15, 20 minutes and then see how much more information um, it learns. Now, speaking to the guys at HD, um, they think that to get all the information that you need to get this bike really finely tuned, it's about three um, tanks worth of fuel. Um, so what, you're looking at a probably, um, seven, so the say is 70 miles a tank, 7, 14, 21, 210 miles in total. But um, yeah, this seems an amazing, amazing tool. And there's so much more you can do. You can even, um, change uh, the popping on it as well uh, which is fantastic and what I mean by that is, is the actual backfiring um, so it's there's some really really good stuff so as I mentioned I'm gonna get cracking and I'll see you guys soon